One of the most important parts of a crown process is the impression. So after your prep, the impression is, is, is crucial. An absolutely amazing impression. Uh, an adequate impression. The most important part is making sure that you get the cord packed correctly. And the second most important part is making sure that you get the cord out that you need to get out. I'm not going to tell you right now. No, seriously. <laughs> the most important thing to remember is when you go to take the second cord out, that you keep it nice and moist. It's kind of like a Band-Aid. When you take a Band-Aid off dry, the scab starts to bleed. So wet the cord first, the second cord that's on top. Pull it out, and then take a look at your prep and make sure that it's good and dry. If you still see a piece of cord that's on top of your margin, you're going to need to wet the second cord, peel yeah. that one out, and then make sure that there's no bleeding or moisture there. Take your time, don't rush, don't panic, you're gonna get it. The impression you should be looking out to make sure that the preparation is dry and the margins are shown when you are ready to take that impression. Yes, first you have to make a good temporary. Temporaries are underestimated. Need to take to have into consideration that the tissue must be very healthy. Very good tip on taking a great impression is making sure that you pack the retraction cords appropriately and making sure that when you take the impression using the light body material, you place the cannula of the impression tip as close to the gingiver as possible yes, and not allowing it to come out so that you don't yes, get an air void or a bubble.
tell you that you as dentists are impressionable people who life fulfilled with crowning achievements.